But David Paul of his family says they trusted Fuller. After all, they've known him for more than five years and he's always done their repairs. But little did they know he wasn't the person they thought. Fuller admitted to police he inappropriately touched one of the family's young relatives. It is sickening. Okay, there's something wrong with that guy. 49 year old Marlo Fuller's face is one this family will never forget. We were shocked. You know, we didn't know that this person is like that. According to the arrest report, Fuller allegedly assaulted the six year old girl last month while doing repairs at the family's home. A day later, the little girl told her family the man was touching her, touching her in between her legs and inside her panties. I mean, a six year old girl. Henderson police were notified and began an investigation. Outlined in the arrest report, Fuller first gave police a story of how it was all an accident, but later admitted, well, all right, whatever she said is what I did and leave it at that. He also told authorities he would go to jail, pay a fine and move on. It's unimaginable, you know. I mean, a kid, what do you get out of the kid? We paid a visit to Fuller's home and place of business, SOS Repair, to get his take. And while we could hear people inside, no one answered the door. I mean, I got a little sister that lives here, my two daughters, and it's just makes my skin crawl. It's disgusting. Police say during a search of Fuller's home in a dresser drawer, they discovered female children's panties, children's skirts, and children's bikini tops and bottoms. We think that there may be other victims out there, and we want anyone who may have been a victim to come forward. Police want any more potential victims to speak up. All this family wants is for Fuller to stay behind bars. People like that, you can't let him out in the street because the kids are not safe. Authorities tell us Fuller is already out of the Henderson Detention Center on bond. Police urge any other possible victims to call Crime Stoppers at number 385-5555. Paula? From the sky, the fire's damage was obvious, but for those on the ground, it was intense. I can see flames come up over the hill. When the flames are that high and it's out of control like that, this stuff's going to hit the fan. <laughs> By air, crews dumped fire retardant while others fighting the flames head on work to create fire lines and put out hot spots. It's the worst I've seen in the time I've lived here. Don Davis has lived through three fires in this area, but while sitting and watching this fire burn, he admits this time things were different. Well, I'm a little concerned right now because it's probably about 300 yards from my house. Reason enough for Davis and others to move their horses to a safer location. Just down the road, a wood chipper and charred truck remain. Authorities believe crews clearing brush in the area may have started the fire. Still, people living here say with such dry conditions, it was only a matter of time. Perfect storm, just an opportunity. There's so much dry vegetation here that hasn't been controlled. One good storm on a good windy day like today, and you got a problem. In all, close to 700 acres were scorched. Approximately 10 homes and several other structures were destroyed. It did get into the barn. We lost uh, the barn, a tractor, uh, by Bunch of uh, tools and things like that. Residents hope this fire is a reminder to everyone, including the Southern Nevada Water Authority, who owns much of the land. We're going to see the same problem in the future if we don't change the way that we manage the range. Show us the evidence those suspects left behind. Jonathan. Well, Paula, the old saying is a picture is worth a thousand words, but if you recognize the man on this photo, well, it could be worth 500 bucks to you. That's because he is one of two suspects caught on surveillance video burglarizing this place. Don't skimp out on the cameras. You know, that's the most important thing. It only took all of about four minutes, but this burglary caught on tape will set this smoke shop back quite a bit. At this time, it's approximately close to $20,000. After busting out the front door, the suspects loaded up on cigarettes, cigars, and even tore TVs off of the wall. The pair made several trips to their car before taking off. Hurtful that somebody could actually break into a mom and pop store. Well, it's a shame, uh, especially for a local business, uh, for people to uh, have to deal with this kind of stuff, especially in tough times. What the suspects may not have realized, all the while carrying out their crime, more than a dozen cameras were rolling, catching their every move and their mug. You know, perfect clean shots of their face, of, of one of them at least. North Las Vegas police say in just the past week, there were two attempted burglaries at area smoke shops before this one. The good news here though, the evidence they have to work with. In this particular situation, it's just a matter of identifying these guys in the video and picking them up. After being 
forced to shut down for a day, it's back to business as usual, but with a few additions. Flyers with the suspects' faces and a $500 reward offer are scattered throughout the smoke shop. It's tough to get away with stuff like that, especially if you're not even trying to hide yourself. It makes you wonder uh, what they're thinking. They were extremely dumb, and uh, I, I, I just hope they get caught. Now, police tell us they are not sure if the attempted burglaries are in any way related to this situation. If you have any information about this case, you are asked to call Crime Stoppers at numbers 385-5555. We're reporting live. I'm Jonathan Martinez, 8 News Now.